Before I start this video, I wanted to give a shout out to TubeGirl232. TubeGirl232 writes, Do you know anything about Aqua? This is on how many playable characters will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's a video that I made and it seemed that she was a little bit confused about Aqua and her role in 0.2. So TubeGirl232, here's my explanation. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Happy. Today, I will try to explain what Kingdom Hearts 0.2 is in the fastest way I can. I'm so flattered! Let's go back to the beginning, in order for you to understand what's going on. In the game Birth by Sleep, you play with three characters, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. Ventus is this boy. Master Saiyanor, this person here, used the technique to extract the darkness out of his heart, and that darkness took a name. But needed. Leaving Ventus a weak shell of a boy. He finds this little boy here, Sora. They have the exact same heart and he uses Sora's heart in order to heal his own heart. It sounds weird I know but that's more or less what happened. Aqua and Terra were both adopted by Master Ericus. They went on to take the Mark of Mastery exam. In the middle of the exam, Terra fails to hold his anger in and almost kills Aqua. Xehanort who's attending the exam sees this and sees an opportunity to take over Terra's heart. In short, Xehanort has the ability to take over people's hearts as long as they give into darkness wholeheartedly. By Terra not being able to suppress his dark side, Master Ericus deems Aqua Master and Terra grows anger towards his master. He goes off to find Master Xehanort who has put a couple of things in his head. Fast forward to the future, we are now in this battle at the Keyblade Graveyard. In this stage, Ventus has to fight his older self, Anitas. Aqua helps out Ventus and Terra fights Xehanort. In the midst of the battle, Terra defeats Xehanort, but Xehanort tricks him. He invades his heart by using his own Keyblade against himself. Terra, in a split second, tries to avoid being taken over, so he releases his heart into this armor. Now in the end of the game, Terra's armor fight what is now being called Terranor. Fast forward some more. Ventus ends up winning the battle against Vanitas, but in the middle of him winning the battle, his heart is shattered into pieces. Aqua, who is now a Keyblade Master, learned from Ericus that in the land of departure, which is the place that you start, in case it was ever under attack, you can use his own Keyblade to lock it. Make it into a maze. That maze is Castle Oblivion in Kingdom Hearts 1.5. back to wake you up before you know it why the fuck you lying why you always lying aqua leaves ventus there and heads back to radiant garden because something funny is going on in radiant garden at the time when she finally gets to radiant garden she sees terra who is now terranor terranor starts to fight aqua and in the midst of the battle against terranor aqua defeats him and instead of terranor dying the body falls into a portal that leads to the realm of darkness. Aqua tries to save Terra from falling in, and the only way she manages to do this is by bouncing off her own armor. She sends Terra out of the portal, and as a penalty, she sends herself deeper into the realm of darkness. Darkness, everybody! Da everyone, darkness is spreading! In this realm of darkness, she ends up fighting a bunch of Heartless, and finally ends up here, in Sleeping Beauty's castle. This is where 0 0.2 makes its debut. Originally, it was supposed to be called Birth by Sleep Volume 2. However, Tetsuya Nomura never got around to being able to do it. Kingdom Hearts 0.2 will be developed under the Unreal Engine 4, just like Kingdom Hearts 3. That's why it looks so pretty. It will take place here, in this castle. This is the main stage. In 0.2, the information that we know is that Aqua will find a way to fix Terra and Ventus. And we'll also meet King Mickey here. Also, it's very important to note that these events take place during the entire Kingdom Hearts series. So there will be cutscenes detailing parts of the Kingdom Hearts world and the Realm of Darkness. Sort of like a timeline of where each is. According to Tetsuya Nomura, time flows differently in the Realm of Darkness. And by time flowing differently, let's say 10 years passed in the real world, maybe only a year passed in the Realm of Darkness, something like that. Well guys, this is all I can say and this is the best way I can explain 0 0.2. If you like this explanation, please leave a like on this video and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe for your latest and most up-to-date information about Square Enix. I'm so flattered!